Good evening everyone and welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be the final video in the series, the top five guitar apps for iPad. So this is going to be number one. Um, but before we do that, just a bit of a brief recap over the last four videos that I've done. I've done, well I'll be doing five apps in total. Um, setup is, I'm using the PreSonus AudioBox i1 USB audio interface straight in the, into the lightning port of my iPad. Um, input one is my mic, my condenser, condenser mic, bearing to C1. Uh, the guitar is going straight into input two. Um, I'm doing a screen capture of the iPad so you can sort of hear everything that's going on and my voice, hopefully. Well, it's worked for the last four videos. Anyway, here we go. So just as a brief recap, let's go um, starting at the fifth best guitar app for the iPad in my opinion which is IK Multimedia Amplitube um, I did a full review of this check the link out in the description um, why do I hate this so much the reverb <laughs> listen to that horrible reverb on the amp which means you have to basically just knock it right off which is plus it's expensive and I'm not really that impressed with the sounds as well um, you know you, you wouldn't even be able to convince me to go for the Brian May sort of package on this um, yeah but anyway let's there's a few convenient features for example the tuner work there we go nope can't even get that to work there we go Anyway, so that was Amplitube. Let's come out of that and without further ado, let's remove that app because I'm not interested in that anymore. Done the video. So, next in the list, number four, was the Line 6 mobile pod. First of all, I just swapped the input over there. Um. I mean, I don't know if you can hear the, the clean guitar signal coming through there. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> I'm not really a big fan of Line 6 products. This one is at number four. Um, it's, you know, it's one of the cheapest. It's £20 and you actually get everything for the £20. But this is a very outdated app. Um, you know, I don't like the menus. You, know, you can't really sort of search by genre. Um, it's just not very guitar-y. And the sounds are a bit sterile. I mean, it's okay, but it's kind of really good for high gain, good for clean. It struggles with, you know, I mean, all, all apps struggle with it, but you know, the, the sort of medium gain, low to medium gain. Um, yeah, I'm not, not a big fan of this app. Let's not get into it too much. You know, the full review is in the description. I've already done it. So, this one's getting binned also. Sorry. Okay. So, moving on then. Number three is the guitar amp for GarageBand, which actually lives in GarageBand. So, I'm quite, I'm quite a big fan of this, to be honest. Um... 
when I did the last video, which was number two, um, which was Bias FX2, I had me doubts about whether I was going to make this number two. Let's um, just get set up first. <laughs> Some nice sounds in this. Um, it's a bit rough and ready. Um, I like the interface. I like how you know it's got easy access to everything. You just click on a button. I like some of the menus on the, on the other apps, which are really clunky. Um, you know, and it's got this thing here, which I, I absolutely love. of interesting things in this um, I mean I said what I didn't like about this app was um, you know some of the some of the presets are sort of set up also with um, plugins attached on the mixer side so not everything is sort of driven by the guitar how much I didn't like and like I say some of them might find this a little the tones a little bit rough and ready but anyway I'm not getting rid of this because it's, it's part of garage band I've, I've grew quite fond of it to be honest as well and there's, there's, there's some interesting presets in there um this is the you know the only kind of free app on the list where you get all the features for free which is another another plus point uh, you know this is just the most direct route into recording guitar tones on your ipad and it's got it's, it covers it covered for the bass too so number three in the list but i still think that's really good now number two um, I did have second thoughts on this. So this is um, Bias FX2 by Positive Grid. Um, before we do that, though, let's just make sure I've got rid of that. Um, yeah, so this is definitely the most sort of like feature rich of the five apps, I think. <laughs> I think it's noisy. Yeah, I think it's noisy compared to some of the apps. Um, I don't know if bias effects were going sort of for the more realistic, you know, the you know having the actual background background noise is a realistic thing. I don't know, but yeah, I, I think this is too complicated, you know, especially with um, you know the, the dual amp written setups and stuff like that. Uh, also, I think it's expensive. I think you know if you if you really want to get into this and explore this um, if I want to have a look at I think some of the more outlandish things in here you know where you've got what we're looking for here we've got like harmonizers and everything um, let's have a look I can't I can't find it but you know you, you get what I mean there it is Harmonizer model, all that stuff. You know, if you've got money to burn, you know, you could drop a hundred pounds on this and get everything, I guess. And then you would have everything. And, it, and this is the favorite of many players. But I just think it's too complicated. I'm not that impressed with the tones. It's not immediate. It's got features in there that I don't want, like this stupid guitar match. It's supposed to make your strats sound like a Les Paul, but it doesn't work. Anyway, I've covered this in the individual review video. I don't much like it. I think, you know, the the price and model's a bit of a rip off. There you go. So bias effects too. <sighs> Goodbye. Delete app. Don't want it. Not impressed. Okay. So that leaves were with the winner. In my opinion, the number one guitar app that you can get <clears throat> for the iPad. And it's this Moa GE Labs. Now, <clears throat> why have I got this at number one? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, when I, I mean this, I, I never heard of this of this app. I just sort of came, stumbled across it really. Um, let's just, and when I first loaded it up, 
you know. I'm just immediately hit by just the impact that this app makes. It's just, you know, the presets are just in your face, you know, straight in their great guitar tones, I think. And you're just, just flicking through the presets. Not all great, but... You're getting that sort of... I was immediately impressed um, with the tones. Have a look at the features of this anyway so things that i like yeah um you know you've got the tuner straight there and this is probably the best tuner i'm going to just mute it yeah i love that tuner that's that's the best tuner and it's immediate you know you haven't got stuff like loopers and things like that um the actual swapping out of amps and things, I still don't think this is as intuitive as the guitar amp for Garage Band. You know, if you want to swap stuff, you've got to sort of click on this, and then you've got a plethora, I love that word, of, um, you know, compressors, was wouldn't really used in this context, modulation. And the great thing about this is, is, you know, you've got everything straight away. Um, more I have got a different pricing model which is which I'll get to later which I'm not sure if I like it or not but anyway you basically get everything with this up in the in the in the free version which is great I mean look at all those drives you know tube screamers OD 250s fuzzers all sorts there preamp now lots of you know you are covered you are covered doesn't look like there's anything for the Bass, I would have said, but you know, you've got orange, <coughs> you know, like um, Fender, all sorts of stuff, all sorts. You know, it's 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 hard to pick up on the brand end of it sometimes. Um, something which is a bit strange, I mean, which something that I don't like about this amp, this amp is you've got your preamp and then you've got your separate power amps, you know, which which gives you a bit of extra flexibility. I mean, each of these have sort of got four controls um let's just go back i'll show you what that is in the second oops cancel that so say for example if we just go lead um see so they've all got like game presence bias and master so I'm, I'm not sure if i like the idea of having a separate you know preamp power amp cabinet i think it's too much um but you know the, the flexibility is there for people that want it um, going back let's have a look at this so there's all the power amps there's not that many actually to be honest then you've got all the cabs and for the tweakers out there you know you've got like also full control over your mic positioning um, have you got control over the mics I wonder I guess not but, oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh, my God. You've got two mics and you've got a choice. Yeah. I mean, this is sort of competing even with Bias FX2 for features. I mean, you, you haven't got a looper on there. You know, you've got... <coughs> there's your sort of preset mode. You've got a metronome. You know, you can log in and stuff like that and download stuff. Settings, you've got... I've set the latency mode. Yeah, it's not as not as in depth as Bias Effects do, but I just like how immediate it is, how it's in your face. Um. Yeah. So just going back, I'll try and get out of here if I can. 
can I get out? Is it possible to get out? I'm out. Right, okay, so, yes. Yeah, and I just think the presets were great. <laughs> Anyway, so just going, going back to the options that are available then, right? So, compressors, was, modulation, tons, anything you'd ever want. Drive pedals, as we've said, anything else, what we'll go after that, cabinets, noise, even three noise gates, EQ pedals, delays, nice. Even reverbs. So, let's have a bit of a play, right? So, I've got this got this nice sort of solo patch it's already got a delay on there I think it is a bit cl I, I would like to just click on the pedal to swap it but you can't you've got to sort of click on the icon um I don't know let's go for a mod delay perhaps um <laughs> Not sure about this. I mean, the yeah. You see, you sort of got like the the foot switches that don't do anything, and all you've got is the sorted knobs <laughs> to change things. But yeah, so let's swap that out. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, let's go for this dynamic delay, whatever that is. I also don't like the idea of once you've selected it, you've got to yeah, the menu's not perfect. I think the best interface out of the five for me is the guitar on for Garage Band, if I'm being honest. Not sure that does really. Dynamic does, who knows. I guess I'll have to read the manual. Um, what else? So let's have a look at some options we've got. Yeah, so on the input we've got like a, a noise reducer if you want to just sort of kill noise at the input stage. Output stage we've got EQ compensation which is kind of a simpler version to bias effects and, and also I guess amplitude but it's there. Let's actually put that on. It's not doing anything at the minute but... <laughs> Detect much of a difference. Um, clean chorus. Yeah, it's just I'm I'm liking how you can quite quickly jump to something that you like and is usable in this app, much more than the rest of them. It's very direct and immediate. You know, sometimes you just you want to lay down a guitar track. You just want to go in, find something, and then use it straight away. You don't want to be faffing about forever, um, you know, trying to make a digital guitar app sound like a real amp. This, this I think, does a good job of just presenting you with some useful tones. And then you can just tweak to your heart's content. Um, pop drive, what's that like? <laughs>
And straight back to this. Ambient. forgive us, I'm just going to switch out of there, and then we're going to go back to, you know, my only remaining other guitar amp, which is this guitar amp, you know, if we go back here and then I've got some um, <coughs> presets set up <laughs> got that to fall back on but you know just look how easier the interface is you click on stuff you adjusting things on the fly you know you're swapping stuff out just by clicking directly on stuff and dragging stuff across I really like the I really like the guitar app for garage band anyway but let's get back to this review and focus focus um you know something I haven't mentioned right is is this so this has got a sampler on it which basically means that you can kind of capture the sound of a drive pedal or a, pre a preamp or a carb or you know a combo amp and you can actually store it like the impulse response into this app which i think is just you know it's genius i mean i've seen that done on you know effects pedals but i've never seen this done you know for an ipad app before um and you know the possibilities of this you know I, I would love to sort of capture my little Marshall DSL one and, and have you know have that as a preset to call upon um yeah so I mean it, it looks like it's a pretty complicated procedure so this is kind of telling you what you've got to do so this is the audio interface at the top the guitar goes into the left the left output goes to the monitor the right output goes to the input of the amp the amps mic'd that goes into the right input of the audio interface it's connected to the amp blah blah, blah and then what, I, I guess, guess what you, you do, do is, is sample it and we'll have to google it but I mean that just looks so powerful um so yeah um yeah I'm, re I'm really I'm really enjoying this app it's got some great core tones I haven't even really looked at the possibilities with the effects. Um, I'm not a one for messing about with, you know, separate power amps and faffing about with virtual cameras too much. I don't like it. I think, you know, this is this is digital. This is ones and zeros. You know, we haven't got a guitar amp. We haven't got a cabinet. I wish companies would just say, look, this is a Vox sound. This is a Marshall sound. Click on it and that's it. You haven't got separate power amps. You haven't got separate cabinets yeah it's a bit it's a bit fake I, I don't really like it but it's there and i think it sounds good i just think once you start getting into tweaking stuff you can just fall down a hole of messing about with the app rather than messing about with getting some guitars recorded <laughs> Jazz chorus. I mean, other, you know, other minus points of this app. Um, yeah, 
I don't think the UI is as good as the garage the garage band guitar amp. Um, I don't like how you've got this button here to swap things and you have to close it. Uh, pointless. Just click on the amp. Um, what else do I not like? Uh, yeah, as I say, there's having the three separate things, preamp, power amp, cabinet. It's just veering in, into the two complicated for me, but not as bad as Amplitube and not as bad as Bias FX2. Um, but the worst thing about this amp, this app is, I've saved it to last, it's just the cynical pricing structure. So you can get this for free, right? And it'll give you everything. You know, you've got all the, all the drive pedals, all the everything, right? But the pricing model for this is the presets. So you've got one preset <laughs> on the free version, yeah? So uh, I'm just going to see if I can have a look to see if... Looking. Right, so here is the pricing structure. Okay, so two dollars ninety nine, you get one more preset, taking you up to two presets. Ten nine 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 dollars ninety nine cents, you get five. Twenty four ninety nine, you get ten. And fifty dollars unlimited. Is it worth fifty dollars? Is it fifty dollars better than the guitar amp for Garage Band? I'm really not so sure, but the thing is, you, I think you can get by without the presets. Um, you could definitely get by without the presets. I mean, if you were recording something and you were happy with the tone, save it as a preset. Um, I'm not sure if there's ways that you could maybe export the files and import them later. I don't know, drop us a comment. I d doubtful, um, but that, that's a possibility, I guess. Um, you know, bite the bullet. I mean, what, what, what do you do? do you, is it worth getting, you know, paying $10 to get 10 presets? I'm not so sure. It's a big jump. You know, it's, it's sort of enticing you to, to pay that £50 for basically nothing. For them just giving you more presets which I think is pretty cool <laughs> but I guess I've got to make the money somehow um, I just wish they would have made the money by just maybe leaving out a few things you know leaving out a few cabinets leaving out a few effects or pedals I think that would have been better you know ha have more presets but have less less effects for example I think the price and models and some of the other apps are better but I think that's a little bit cynical um, but yeah at least you've got everything I, I am starting to waffle a bit as well so I think we're coming to the end of this this video and this video series so let us know what you think in the comments do you think that have you tried this app the more G labs guitar app um, I like how focused it is I like how you know it hasn't got a loop on it it hasn't got some of the superfluous features I, I'm loving the core tones just in your face and you just use just just add water tones isn't it it's part noodle in it go into it select the preset off you go the next time you're recording something select a different preset off you go you know don't worry about you know the the preset pricing structure um you know you can mess about as much as you like with all the, the modulations um, but I suppose as a final note what I would say is I'm still loving the, the guitar app the guitar amp for Garage Band. you know now I put it at number 3 in the list I was having doubts about that maybe it should be number 2 but now I'm thinking you know is that fair maybe it should be number 1 you know the user interface the close integrations and by the way I didn't mention you know the the integration with GarageBand isn't as tightly integrated as the, the GarageBand amp. You know, if you want to record something in, in GarageBand, for example, you would have to come into this. And then you would have to wait for it to load up. And then you would have to...
come in here and then external in up audio GE labs and then you're basically on the preset and if you want to change presets click on that I think you can do this maybe clean let's go for the store so it picks it up <laughs> But you know, I think an extra degree of latency is added in there, you know, which you might not want. So, and then say, for example, if you don't want to use that and you want to just get, get rid of that, that. So, sorry. So, so if, if you, you want to recall, <laughs> there you go. So if you want to record with the garage band guitar amp, you know, just press record at the top. Easy. And no additional latency added. Am I going to make this the number one? Right at the last. I don't know. I tell you, why don't why don't you decide? Drop us a comment. Check out the other four videos. My initial sort of feeling was I did like G G E Labs the best. Just for the immediacy. But then you come across the sort of the frustrations with it, the pricing structure. The user interface, you know, the complications. And I kind of often find myself just coming back to the guitar amp <laughs> in Garage Band. Um so there you go. It, it you know it probably isn't the best guitar app, but I still love it. And it's the only one, you know, where I've actually spent some time putting together some presets. <laughs> Face, no, stick an echo on there, no problem. <laughs> oh, there's a too rough sounding, there's a too rough sounding. What do you think? One final time, GE Labs. <laughs> It sounds better. But is it practical? Is it practical? Let's get it in there. It has got the latency, it just has. Is there anything we can do about that? Maybe not. I mean, I don't know how to set it. This might be why. Let's get it off that. Let's get it onto that. Yeah, maybe it was just because I had a sort of vocal patch applied to it. So let's come back and see if that sorts out the latency. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'm being a little bit 
unfair to GA Labs there. You know, if you just if you go in and just don't don't put it on a vocal preset with pitch control, obviously you're going to get less latency. Now let's um, yeah. So no, I've changed my mind again. This is the best app for the for the guitar app that you can get for the iPad. I think it does. You know, it, it does integrate nicely with um, Garage Band. The tones are great. Uh, you know, and even though the menu is a little bit clunky, it's fine. And I'm, you know, I can't wait to get into this sampling stuff. Don't care too much about the um, this hor horrible pricing structure, which I'm going to ignore for as long as I can. Um, you know, hopefully they'll have some nice updates come out for it as well soon. But for now, there you go. Let us know what you think in the comments. <laughs>